shoe review. <laughs> Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you for a brand new sneaker review on Sneaker Talk 365. I am so sorry it's been a while since the last video, but we're back. We're coming back strong. We got a lot of content on the way. Yes, I know I say that every single time, but I swear guys, we got a lot of stuff on the way. When I'm back home from the Philippines, this channel is going to be popping. We're going to be hitting 100 million subscribers by the end of 2019, obviously. And uh, with your help, we actually hit 5k subscribers just last week so thank you to everybody in the sneaker talk family if you're new think about subscribing and checking out my other sneaker reviews with that said today we have a sneaker review on a pair of beautiful beautiful puma sneakers these are the puma thunder spectra So the Puma Thunder Spectre has got to be one of the most important silhouettes that Puma has released in 2018. They started off with the OG colorway, that red, uh, yellow, black, and it's like a weird kind of blue. I'm not sure the exact color scheme, but they had the OG Pumas. Those left a very big mark in the industry, and they're finally releasing them in the Philippines coming up um, later this month. And they're also just finally getting around to releasing these in the Philippines this month as well. So if you're a Filipino Sneaker Talk family member, then check out Soul Academy or the Puma Philippines Instagram accounts for more information on that. Now the Puma Thunder Spectra in this gray colorway might honestly be also one of the best colorways they have released for this shoe. Now one of the great things about the first colorway of the Puma Thunder Spectra, the OG one, is that it is a color scheme that is very easy to wear with a lot of different outfits. It's something you can basically wear as your daily beater shoe and you know when you're getting one shoe a year it's important to be able to have a shoe that's versatile and this colorway of the Puma Thunder Spectra, although not in that black main like predominantly black color, it has a gray color scheme and it is still somewhat very wearable for most outfits which is a great selling point to this shoe now the sneaker has been out for a couple of months now so if you are thinking about buying the sneaker it might actually be available on sale at some retailers so check out your local retailer and if you click the link in the description down below it'll take you to the Puma website where you can buy these and I think they're on sale for about $20 off now the retail price for these Puma Thunder Spectras was 120 US dollars and they originally new release back in August of this year. Now for those of you guys who do not know about the Puma Thunder Spectra and think this is a Yeezy Wave Runner clone, you are absolutely wrong. This sneaker is actually inspired by the Alexander McQueen collaboration they did with Puma on the Puma Tech Runner. I'll have some of those images come up on screen right now. The uh, inspiration, the aesthetic is very very similar to this particular shoe and that is because the shoe, the Puma Thunder Spectra, is like the most upgraded or updated version of of that sneaker minus the designer branding. Maybe they'll release a Puma Alexander McQueen uh, Thunder. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe one day. The Puma Thunder Spectra does a lot of things right. So let's start off with the materials on this sneaker. It uses Cleo. Are you kidding me, fam? I'm trying to. F okay, you guys can't see Cleo. Th this cat freaking just jumped, jumped up onto. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> It's, a, it's half cat, half a jet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> half Egyptian cat, half parrot. Oh my gosh. One of the great things I love about the Puma Thunder Spectra is the diverse materials on the shoe. They use a mesh gray material on the upper of the shoe, and besides that, they also use smooth leather on the toe box region of the shoe in a gray colorway as well. Now, the toe box creases pretty badly and uh, it, it does hurt seeing the creasing on this toe box. It's not as noticeable on the other colorways that have a black leather upper, but on this gray, you gotta be careful because as you guys can see, it can get pretty dirty. Um, pretty quickly if you aren't very careful with it. So it has some gray on gray action with mesh with some leather And then it also has some suede on the shoe too, which is really cool There's these hits of this yellow suede near the lace area of the shoe And there's hits of yellow on the back as well with that Puma branding tag and the yellow suede right beside that black tag Taking a look at the laces these sneakers feature some white rope laces And I don't think these sneakers included any extra laces Unfortunately, and it's held together by some yellow little like aglet 
uh, rope things that fit the laces perfectly. Now besides that, you have a gray smooth leather tongue with the black on black Puma Cat branding on that tongue patch right there. There's also the gray Puma logo on the side of the sneaker and I'm not too sure what kind of material it is. It's sort of this weird synthetic. It's not mesh, it's not leather, it's not suede. It's this weird sort of material to it. And then there's also this sort of fabric on the side of the shoe on the inner panel that is not mesh either. It's this sort of weird synthetic. And this is a colorway of the Puma Thunder Spectra that I think can get dirty pretty easily. So if you are gonna go on those long all day hiking trips and stuff, would not recommend. One really cool material that's on the shoe that you don't see very often is this weird sort of like TPU material. It's this like weird gray on the side of the shoe and it has this sort of texture to it. Very, very cool. And then you also have that big, chunky, thick midsole. The midsole on this sneaker is massive. If you like thick midsoles with as many C's as possible, this is a shoe you're gonna like. It also has some hits of gray on the midsole along with blue, and the blue is a really nice contrast to the orange that is on the side of the sneaker right here by the ankle and the booty portion, and it's a nice contrast to the yellow on the shoe as well. I like the fact that they did that. They could have gone with red and could have gone with like a fire hot palette on the shoe, but instead, they went with blue to counter the yellow and orange. Now there's also a semi-translucent gum outsole, which is different. Usually you just see a standard gum outsole on most sneakers, but this is a semi-translucent one. So you can sort of see the dirt on it a bit more um, when it comes to the outsole, but it looks really, really cool, and it's definitely a nice touch. I like the fact that they did this because it's not as polarizing um, to the yellow and the orange versus if they just went with a regular gum outsole. So having it semi-translucent, pretty cool. With that said, in terms of sizing and comfort, I would recommend going your true size in the Puma Thunder Spectra. Um, these shoes fit true to size in my opinion for all the colorways I've, I've used so far. Size 10, all the time, and uh, they are a very, very comfortable sneaker. One of the most comfortable sneakers you can get in that $120 to $100 price range, especially for a dad shoe like this. I, I have to say, I wear the Puma Thunder Spectra all the time, not just this colorway, but all of my colorways all the time, and it is a like go-to sneaker for me for all day wear. It's really supportive. There's a lot of arch support in the shoe. There's a lot of padding as well along the collar and the side and the booty. Really hugs your foot and makes your foot feel really good in a side of the shoe. So if you were looking for a sneaker that's gonna hold you down for all day long wear that you can just wear and beat up, well, probably not beat this colorway up, but if you were looking for a sneaker that you can wear a whole bunch and if you're on your feet all day long and you're doing a lot of walking or shopping or if you're going to school, the Puma Thunder Spectra is a sneaker I would definitely recommend. So if you made it to the very end of the video, hit that like button down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions for the comment question of the day on the Puma Thunder Spectra. What are your thoughts on this sneaker? Do you like this gray colorway? Is it your favorite colorway out of all of them? Do you not feel them? Let me know. And I gotta say, this is probably the closest colorway to the Yeezy Boost or Yeezy Wave Runner 700s. That OG colorway, this is the closest colorway to that just because it's a gray on gray action. So. Actually, let's see if you really made it to the end of the video. Comment down below if you like the Wave Runner 700s, the OG colorway, or if you like these more. Ignore the hype. We're not talking about the designer behind the shoe. We're talking about the actual design of the shoe. A shoe versus a shoe. No marketing or anything else besides that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Sneaker Talk 365, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.